Hello, this is Jihad Hussein. Um, I'm going to try to show you here how to put your artwork into a frame or a display. So basically, I, I love to do the engraving on mirrors. Um, I feel like I, I, I do more on mirrors than I do on wood. But on this video, I'm trying to show you like here some of my works that I do and how you do it, how to add a light to it, how to enhance, uh, you know, the outcome of your artwork by adding stress, uh, crystal, you know, into a mirror. Uh, I will show you today how to do this one by detail. Hopefully uh, you learn something today and we learn together because I'm still learning just like you guys. In the beginning, of course, uh, I assume you know how to engrave in mirrors. So basically, uh, you get a picture. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Like I, I choose this picture. I download it to the uh, to the uh, Bright uh, Burn uh, program, which is that I use for Alter. Uh, it's perfect uh, program, easy to learn. I, I love it. And the most important thing is you make sure on mirrors you do it upside down because you can engrave it on the back of it. So the light. We will etch it from the back so the light will come out from the front when you add the light to it. Um, I usually do a thousand speed on 70% uh, uh, power. That should uh, take care of the edge in the glass on the uh, from the uh, from the back of the mirror, and that should work. Uh, but the most important thing is to um, make sure where to um, uh, to engrave. So you have to make sure you're in the right position. And while you do that, you do the shift and frame, which is what I'm trying to do here, uh, by trying with one more, uh, one, you know, one hand. So just, you, you wanna adjust the, the mirror or, uh, you know, the object you wanna engrave. I assume you know that already, but the, the trick that probably a lot of people doesn't know that you can do the dio laser. So it will show you exactly where it's gonna burn. And while you do that is you hit shift and frame at the same time um, and that should give you uh, exactly where the, uh, the the engraving is gonna happen so basically you I'm trying to do it here it's kind of hard with one hand and just like the here shift and frame up oh, voila there we go so then you will know exactly where it's gonna burn. So hopefully you already learned how to engrave a mirror and um, I'll show you how it would come out after I engrave it. Over here, I'll try to show it to you in a minute. And uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be writing, and it has to be picture, uh, a logo, anything, anything, honestly. Uh, picture is hard to do in mirror. Uh, I'd rather do it on uh, wood, but on a frame, either a text or uh, an artwork or logo. Logo would be perfect on the, for this idea. Uh, as I show you here, it's already framed. It took me about four hours to finish this one. And I'll show you by, by the light, it will pop out exactly the way that I wanted to do. And uh, I did also the corners, the decors. Also, I uh, engrave them, cut them from, uh, uh, you know, on the same machine by using the uh, the foam, grill, uh, glitter foam that I bought from, you know, uh, Hobby Lobby. And basically you just cut the foam, uh, cut it uh and stick it to the corners you could do any art form and i did also the same thing that i cut this perfect circle uh, where the uh, the mirror is gonna sit and i glue it uh with you know the gorilla glue that's a very strong glue basically i just left uh, a corner when i cut it make sure i have like a you know a quarter inch or so enough to to stick the mirror like this uh you have to put it in let it sit for like a couple hours and make sure it's already uh you know uh, glued in and i added 
a crystal around it just to give it an edge give it more you know uh, crystal like so it all looks nice and on the beat when i flip it i added a foam just enough to add the light so you need an edge of like a quarter inch half an inch and i used a very bright bright uh, led light i used a light white you can use the colorful one if you like but you know for me i like the the white bright white and you just put it back in and you close it and it should be done as you see here it glowing like you need to so basically that's how you do most of the frame and uh, the outcome is very beautiful you will like it everybody love it i got a lot of project to do so hopefully the next time when you subscribe or you know comment uh, like this video you will see a lot of project that i'm gonna do next time hopefully you me and you will learn something to, uh, new and i would happy to hear from you guys for any comments if i did something wrong let me know and hopefully we do a great uh, jobs like this one i love it and um, hopefully we'll see you again guys and goodbye